Hello friends, today we have Mr. Lyndon who came all across from Zimbabwe to do his training on CCNP security. So today we have planned to take his interview and to learn about his entire experience with Network Bulls training. So let's start the same. Hello Mr. Lyndon, how are you today? Hi Jenny, I'm very well, thank you. Okay, great. So uh, Mr. Lyndon, as you have planned to go back to your country, right? So. Uh, we would just like to know that how was the entire experience, journey with Network Bulls and how you are feeling today after getting trained from the world class trainers. Wow, Jenny, uh, my experience um, doing CCMP security training and Network, network Bulls has been amazing and I feel very much empowered and, and, and happy to get these skills and go back with them to Zimbabwe. Okay. So, uh, what would you like to say about the infrastructure and the facilities at Network Bulls? Ah, the, the, the facilities are world class, eh? Uh, Network Bulls has got the largest labs in India mm -hmm. um, and we've had 24-7 um, um, uh, access to the labs, 24 hours a day, no restrictions at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Pravin Kataria, mm -hmm. my trainer, uh, is CCI security certified mm -hmm. and he's got a very good mastery of all the concepts and he was explaining them very well to us, gave us some uh, real life examples and uh, he cleared all our doubts and we did so many tasks. The training was practical based and uh, we really got to get to grips with the concepts and we feel very, very comfortable going on and implementing them. So, as you did your CCNA security from your own country, that is Zimbabwe, and you came all across from Zimbabwe to do your training for CCNP security from Network Pools. So, what made you, uh, you know, decided on the same? And what difference you felt in between the two institutes? Well, the, the decision was just because uh, Network Pools, all the trainers who teach here are uh, CCIE security uh, sorry, CCIE certified, whether they're teaching security or routing and switching, they all have CCIEs. So, um, uh, the experience itself, the way they trained, um, uh, left me no doubt. Uh, they, they were very on point and we actually enjoyed the training because these are guys who are really masters of their trade and um, they really gave us uh, a good experience in terms of explaining and helping us to implement, helping us to do it practically, um, hands-on. It was actually hands-on, practical-based training. Okay. So how many students were there in your class? There were six in my class uh, from different countries, all from different countries, with a guy from Nigeria, another one from Algeria, Saudi Arabia, Sudan. Uh, it was awesome. We enjoyed ourselves. We are just one big, happy Network Bulls family. Okay, great. So, uh, what travel recommendation you would like to give to our students who are actually planning to come down to India to Network Pools for doing their training program? Uh, what I would advise is don't come on, on the day or just a day before. Just give yourself at least two days prior mm -hmm. to the start of your class so that you can just get here, acclimatize, get over the jet lag and then when you start class you'll be nice and fresh. So, uh, any message you would like to give to the students who are actually planning to come down for the training? Uh, I just want to say to all the students who want to come down to the Network Bulls training, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, this is the place to come for your training. I'm actually coming back in about three months time to do my CCIE security because I have to get my number. Because there's so many guys who are getting their CCIE numbers at Network Bulls. Okay, great. So, thanks, Lyndon, for sharing your experience with us. It was lovely talking to you. Right? You're welcome, Jenny. So we wish you all the best for your career and see you soon here. Thank you so much. So, friends, it was Mr. Lyndon who came from Zimbabwe and shared his experience with us for his training program. I hope you must have enjoyed this. Thanks for watching us.